this is one of the Enigma machines in the Science Museum's collection. But inside, it really looks just like a typewriter. It doesn't look that different to a normal typewriter. So each day, the German officer would have a code book that set uh, the three codes for the rotors that you would start with. So the fact that the settings in the code book changed every single day made the Enigma machine incredibly difficult to break. So if we look inside, I can show you the rotors. You'll see this machine is a three rotor machine and I can actually take those out. So each of the rotors has 26 different connectors. So you can transfer a letter that's come in from this end into a different letter here, and then it will pass through each of the other two rotors. So over 15,000 different settings that you can uh, have for each letter that's come through. They did a lot of it originally by hand, but it was because of that understanding of the mathematics behind it that they were really able to you know, create an electromechanical machine that could break Enigma much more quickly. You really can't underestimate the amount that they did to shorten World War II. This is the reflector, so the signal would come through each of the three rotors and then actually be reflected from this side, sending the message back through the rotors again and giving another level of encryption. The signal then goes through to the lamp board here and a letter would light up so you can see that over here a new encrypted letter would have come through and that's the one that you then send using Morse code. If that wasn't enough, there's also another level of encryption that the Enigma machine could do. So there's also this plug board in the front. It would transpose letters, so according to which plugs you put in and which letters, you can actually just swap them over. So T might become U or V would be W. Um, and it adds another whole level of complexity to the encryption. The work that happened at Bletchley Park, I think there's still a very strong message there about working in teams, um, not giving up, you know, keeping on going and thinking slightly outside the box. You don't always have to do things in the same way that people have done things before.